Hey everybody, I'm Scotty. Welcome to Scotty Springer. We've got a very special show for you tonight and some great guests. We'll get right to it. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Today's topic is my best friend or partner likes a sport that isn't an actual sport. This is some heavy stuff. So our first guest is student and longtime college football fanatic, Sonny. Sonny, it's great to have you here. Thanks for having me, Scotty. All right, so uh, tell us what's going on. What's up? So uh, me and my best friend, Alex, you know, we're longtime college football fans. And um, every Saturday, you know, we're watching from like 9 in the morning, college game day, to like the last game at night. You know, it's been a bonding experience throughout yeah. our childhood. Sounds really important to the friendship. So you're here because you're worried something rocky is happening with the friendship. What's that about? Yeah, I I started to do something. I don't know if he's gonna be. I don't know if he's gonna be okay with it. Oh, would you like to share with everybody what that is? Yeah, I I started to watch soccer games. Ooh. What? No way. Well, Sonny, that's uh, that's gonna be a big reveal, and I think you need to tell Alex about it if you're gonna save your friendship. Little do you know, Alex is here in the studio today. He's been in the back. He hasn't heard any of this. Whoa. Why don't we welcome Whoa. Alex on out here? Uh, come on out, Alex. What's up, Alex? Hey, Alex, great to have you here. Yeah, thanks, Scotty. I'm, I'm glad not, you dressed I'm up for the show. Looks good. Not, not really sure why I'm here, but, but I am here. Well, your best, best friend, Sonny. Here with Sonny. Your best friend, Sonny, has uh, something he'd like to tell you. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I didn't know how to say this, so I wrote a poem and I dressed the part for you. Oh, his poetry is so good. It always touches. Just, just wait for the poem. I think, I think you might, I think you might like my way with words. Roses are red, violets are blue. I hate to confess that I'm not being honest with you. Oh. I've been watching football, but not the kind you think. It's actually soccer. I hope our friendship will win and you won't rethink. Oh. I'm sorry, bro. Alex, what do you have to say about that? I'm in awe and I'm shocked. Okay, I think those that, are kind of the same thing, but okay. We're sitting here and I can feel this type of betrayal th that he would do something so un-American and watch soccer. I, I, it has to be because you're Spanish, isn't it? Oh, 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 I'm not Spanish, bro. Oh, 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 oh. We've been over this. Sandeep, is there a little more to the story you might want to share with us? It seems like tensions are pretty high right now. And while we're clearing the air, is there something else, Sandeep? Is there more to this story? Yeah, there is. There is. Uh, not only am I not Spanish, which is news to you apparently, but I've been watching these soccer games with your brother, Ryan. Oh. Oh. And Benedict oh Washington. Why don't we get Alex's brother, Ryan, out here, everybody. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. what? I hate you. What are those? Boo. What the? Chill. Oh, Jesus. Alex, I'm really sorry you had to find out this way. It's just, you never wanted to play FIFA with me. You never even wanted to give soccer a chance. Because it's not a sport. Oh. Look, look, that's not the point. See. Sundeep over here, he needed companionship. And I gave that to him. Something that you couldn't do because you're not understanding. Ooh. So oh, I yeah, gave it to him. We are soccer bros together. Yeah. yeah. Sandeep. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, good. Good. Sandeep, do you want to be Ryan's soccer bro? Honestly, Scotty, just rethinking everything that's been said, I don't. Ooh. I don't want to be your soccer bro, Ryan. And it's just because Alex and I, we've been watching college football every Saturday since we were kids. And it's a bond that can't be broken, man. And Ryan, soccer is cool and all, but I was just with you for the rush, dude. Ooh. I Like, you can take your shirt back and everything. I, I mean, I just, there's nothing against soccer, it's just you. Look, wow. f*** you, man. I gave you whoa. everything. Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, Scotty. we got stuff to work on, but how dare you 
talk Yo. to my brother like that I'm after me. all we've been through. I just can't be <laughs> this out here. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Let's take it. Let's take a breather here. Right, Eric, get get back in your seats. Th thanks. Thanks. All right. So we we we've got a lot covered today. Sonny, do you think you will still be able to be friends with Alex? I I would love to. I still want to watch college football, bro. But just like watch soccer with me sometime. I, it's it's not a sport. It just isn't a sport. It's true, Sonny. It's not. It's lame, and for losers. Even so, Alex, do you think you'll be able to forgive Sonny and work on your friendship? We've been through a lot, and, and I'd really like to, but, but right now I just got to focus on mending things with my own kin oh, yeah. and my brother. Yeah. That's, that's all for this segment. Uh, we'll be right back after a quick break. You see, dorm basketball was invented by some very lazy college newspaper columnist. What if I told you that some dreams can come true? Finally, I was able to say that I was the champion. Clintethan was putting up numbers that were just unheard of, and that's when the problems arose. All up and down Main Street, boy. So guess what? You better start... Whipple was disgracing the whole game with what he was doing. What if I told you that the man chosen to bring him down was a blind man? It would be entering high school that I had the accident. And that many people doubted him. He had zero chance. But what if I told you that it became the best game in sports history. I can't recall a moment in sports that captivated the American psyche so much. I needed to do whatever it took. USS Films presents a 17 for 38 film, The Dorm Basketball Duel, coming this fall, only on Wolf TV. Love you too. Babies. All right. Our next guest is dating a cheerleader. But as we'll find out, not everything is happy and cheery in this relationship. Um, Let's welcome Greg, everybody. Yeah. 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 Greg. So, G -money. <laughs> so tell us, what's going on? What's up? Hey, Scotty, how you doing today, man? You Thanks for having right? me. Yeah, great. So what's going on with this relationship? Well, I've been dating my girlfriend for a while now. And everything's all fine and dandy. It's going real nice, as any normal relationships would be going. But she's a cheerleader. Okay. And, you know, which is okay. You know, cheerleaders are pretty cool. They're pretty popular, as everybody would know. But she's taking her cheerleading way too seriously. Aww. But not only that, she's neglecting me as well because of the cheerleading. Because of the cheerleading. And that's why I'm here today, man. I'd like to tell hey, her. You, you don't think cheerleading is that serious? You think it's a sport? No, I don't think it's a sport at all. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. All right, well, uh, your girlfriend's here, Greg. Why don't we bring out Greg's girlfriend, Emily, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Emily, it's great to have you. Thank you for having me. Greg, is there something you want to tell Emily? Yes. You've been focusing too much on your cheerleading and neglecting me lately. Um, well, for one, it's a sport, so, and it's a sport that I do, it's something I'm very passionate about, so of course, I'm going to focus on it. You tell me. Mm. I hate to break it to you, though, it's really not a sport. Oh. Oh. Back and forth. Back and forth. The back and forth. <laughs> As my boyfriend, you're supposed to be supporting me, and by you saying that, you're not. She's got this right. Yeah, man. Mm. Tell him. Yeah, but you've been taking this so seriously that you've been neglecting me because of it. You think it's something you can work around, though, Greg? Maybe now that she knows, she can give you a little more attention. Well, unfortunately, Scotty, no. 
Why not? What's going on? Is there something else to the story? Uh, yeah, yeah, let us in. What, what's happening? Well, I've kind of been seeing somebody else. Oh! 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 What do we need to know about this person you've been seeing, Greg? Well, she's also a cheerleader. Oh. Who is this bitch? Uh, that doesn't matter. It's not important because she means nothing to me. Oh. Who is she? Your roommate. Oh. Oh. Wow. Time out. How'd this happen, Greg? How did this happen? Well, to be honest, Scotty, it kind of just happened, man. Um, we just got really close. We got to talking, and then um, she, you know, she's friends with uh, my girlfriend. So uh, she kind of knew the situation, looking out, and she kind of felt bad. So that's kind of how it all happened. Hmm. Hmm. Well, why don't we bring out Emily's roommate, another cheerleader, Emma? Come on out, Emma. Ooh. I mean, I mean nothing to you, really. I mean, you know, regardless if you guys think, uh, you know, cheerleading is a sport or not, all the time that I've spent just between the both of you, I can just come up with the analysis that cheerleaders are mean. You're a d bad, Greg. Hope you enjoy being with Emily. Ooh, shoot. Mm. Okay. Emily, do you think you could forgive Greg for this? Hell no. No. Oh, no. no. I have my own career. I have my own future ahead of me. I can't deal with this immaturity, so I don't have time for it. That's fair. Right. That's, That's fair. Right. That's, That's fair. fair. That's fair. And you know, Scotty, there may be something else. Oh. Um, uh, are, really? When 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 we rehearsed this, that that was it. Just the maturity thing. After the stunt. No no no. After the stunt, he just pulled. There's definitely something else. Oh well, then what is it then? I've been seeing someone too, Greg. Oh! Oh! Are, are you sure, Emily? Are you sure it's not just maturity in your career? No, I've been seeing someone Man, else what that the you who, know. Who is this person? Your boy, Scotty. Oh! Scotty! 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 How does it Scotty. feel? How does that feel? Hmm. Scotty, you son of a bitch. I, you're supposed to be my bro, man. Okay, and this is how right. you do me, okay, man? Okay, all right, all For right. For real? We're recording, we're recording yeah. right now. Just, just keep it cool, man. Man, keep it cool. You know, I'm going to keep cool, yo, when it's back to your oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm the host of the show. You don't talk to me like that, all right? Hey. The host of what? You're yeah, coming out of your mom's ass. Oh. You yeah, I make coming out of my ass, but I'm a better boyfriend than you'll ever be. Oh, you son of a All right, everybody, that's uh, pretty much a wrap for the show. Our lesson this week is, number one, don't use paper as a bandage when you have an open flesh wound. But more importantly, you know, friendships and relationships, you have to be able to accept each other's differences, especially when it comes to sports, because we all like different things. So I wish, oh, God, I wish you the best. Take care of each other and yourselves. Hooray sports, go blue, and any other send-off that I haven't thought of. We'll see you next week.